weekend Bruce shared the news he was quitting BBC Radio 2 after 31 years presenting his 9. 30 a.m. show. The star explained it was the right time to move on and has made many friends and worked with many wonderful colleagues. He is set to host a mid-morning show from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Greatest Hits Radio. Speaking on his Tuesday Radio 2 show, Ken said, Nothing stays the same forever and I have decided the time is right for me to move on from Radio 2 when I reach the end of my current contract in March. It's been a tremendously happy time for me, I've made many friends and worked with many wonderful colleagues. However I feel that after 45 years of full-time broadcasting on BBC Radio it's time for a change. I would stress that this is entirely my decision but some new opportunities have come up and I would like to continue my career in a slightly different way in the next few years, the details of which will be revealed shortly. I will always be very proud of my association with the BBC and Radio 2 in particular and I'd like to thank everyone who has helped to make the mid-morning show a success. Lorna Clark, director, BBC Music, added, Kim is an extraordinary broadcaster with an exceptional career over many decades. He has been part of every significant occasion marked by BBC Radio 2 and we. His faithful audience and the Radio 2 All-Star lineup will miss his warm humor and wit. Congratulations on a brilliant career! Ken joined the BBC in 177 as a BBC Radio Scotland staff presenter and landed his first regular slot on Radio 2 was the Saturday Late Show in 1984. The following year he fronted the Radio 2 breakfast show, taking over from Terry Wogan. Ken moved to the mid-morning shift in 1986 before a brief stint on late nights and early mornings. He returned to mid-mornings in January 1992, where the show's most recent weekly reach was 8. 56 million. Ken has also presented Radio 2's coverage of Eurovision since 1988, and has been a regular presenter of Sunday Night is Music Night. Ken's show is famous for Popmaster, a quiz which has run for 25 years, Tracks of My Years, where a famous person chooses their favorite records and more recently, The Piano Room, featuring live music from a range of great artists. Ken's replacement will be announced in due course. The host previously stated he would never retire in December 2022. He said at the time, I would never retire voluntarily, but you never know, I might be retired. I don't worry about it. If you worry about it, it will affect your everyday performance, so I just get on with it. If I didn't work where I do work, I would do something else, somewhere else. I would probably go back to hospital radio or do a shipping forecast on Radio 4, or whatever. But I would still want to be in the communication business, it's in my DNA. Speaking about his new role, he said, what better way to celebrate my 45 years in radio than with a new adventure and a brand new show on Greatest Hits Radio. I say brand new but there will still be Popmaster, me and my musings and all the great records you know and love from the 70s, 80s and 90s. I'm looking forward to getting started and to you joining me for my very first show. See you in April.